Hi there, my name is Alex Cole and I work within the strategy function at CPI. So my role is about understanding the outside world, macroeconomic, industry and innovation trends. Health tech is any technology which can be used to improve health and well-being through things like diagnostics or treatment. Now IVD or in vitro diagnostics is a subset of medtech. You'll know these kind of technologies from the kind of lateral flow tests that you've done through, through COVID or for the PCR tests that you, that you may have done. Now what IVD is, is taking something from the human body, such as saliva, such as some cells, such as some blood, taking it away, testing it, and coming back with a result. So IVGs are challenging to develop because they have lots of different technology within them. So CPI is involved in five key steps in IVD or in regional diagnostics development. The first step is biologics. The second step is electronics. The third step is photonics. The fourth step is additive manufacturing. And the fifth step is digital. Hi, I'm Suzanne Raab. I'm a senior scientist in technology innovation within biologics. When a particular protein or molecule from the body is identified that needs to be detected as a biomarker of a disease, for example, in the COVID-19 lateral flow test, this would have been the SARS-CoV-2 antigen. We can then help develop a biological or inorganic material that can bind to this molecule and enable us to detect it as an IVD device. We can check the level of binding between the molecule we've produced and the antigen we're testing. We can do that using techniques such as ELISAs or other testing capabilities here at CPI. We can also test other critical quality attributes of your products within our analytical facilities. We can scale up and purify the proteins into the correct formulation to be incorporated into the IVD device. That sensing material can then be sent over to electronics to be incorporated into the device. Hi, my name's Nicola. I'm a senior scientist in device technology at CPI. Within electronics, we can help design the sensors. We can also manufacture them using additive techniques such as printing. Um, where we put down conductive layers of ink, or we can use subtractive manufacturing techniques such as photolithography, where we can pattern thin blanket films of materials such as metals uh, like gold to produce the sensors. We can then take the sensing material developed by colleagues in uh, biologics or formulations, so bio-based or inorganic, and use printing techniques such as microjetting, nanopipetting or inkjet to deposit them onto the sensors and functionalise them. We have equipment to make sensors at a variety of different scales, from a few dozen so that we can prove that the sensors actually work, all the way up to large scale roll to roll equipment where we can print tens of thousands of devices, uh, for example for a clinical trial. Using manufacturing equipment with process controls enables us to improve the reproducibility, reliability and signal to noise ratio of the sensors. These are all key properties when you're scaling up to manufacture so that you know you're producing the same sensor each time. Hello, I'm Deepan Shah. I'm a molecular biologist and I'm the head of technology at Biotechnology. So here at the Photonics Centre we, we can bring together all the different elements that uh, go into making an in vitro diagnostic device. So everything from the optical systems, the electronic control systems and also the microchips and the, the biologics that go into these things. Um, and so we can produce a number of devices that can go into testing. We hold a Human Tissue Authority license, so we can bring in uh, clinical samples from uh, all sorts of disease states and all sorts of clinical samples that can be tested to validate your equipment uh, uh, pre-clinical trial. So we, we're certified to ISO 13485, which is a, a standard that we operate to. It's our quality management system. Uh, and so we can manufacture all our medical devices under that standard so that we can give our clients all the documentation and technical files they need to file with the MHRA and other um, authorities to get their um, equipment certified. Hi there, my name is Tom Harvey and I'm the Healthcare Photonics Lead here at CPI. Once you have the biological or formulated element and you have developed the sensor, that is where 3D printing or additive manufacturing comes to be involved in, in the device development. So the big advantage of the additive manufacturing systems is the rapid turnaround. So we can produce a design and then it's available within a few hours 
um, or next day for you to be able to test. Secondly, a wide range of material options are available. We can combine soft and hard materials together. You can do unique geometries in some of your designs and that's particularly important, for example, when you're looking at mixing or when you're looking to incorporate reagents into a cartridge so you can create a point of care test rather than a laboratory-based test. Obviously, we have to think about the total end of life uh, and recycling um, of the product where, where that's important as well. One fifth and final step is that you can add digital connectivity to your IVD device. For a patient, connecting into the digital ecosystem through your IVD device or through your medical device can get you closer to your clinician, closer to your doctor, can potentially connect you in with other support groups and could help with buddy systems, allowing your, your mother, brother, sister or family member to help you through a particular condition that you have. So there are many benefits to working with CPI on IVD or in vitro diagnostic development. And this is because we have a very broad end-to-end -end offer, right through from biological sense, through the physical sense, into the digital sense. And also we're part of a very strong innovation ecosystem to help you get your idea right through to commercialization. So where do I see IVD going in the future? I see IVD tests becoming more sensitive, testing for more things, finding things earlier, moving to the point of care, and moving into the patient's home to allow people to understand whether they have conditions and what to do to treat their conditions more quickly. And what this will do is this will enable us to, to understand whether we have certain medical conditions quickly, get better outcomes, and be better for patients, the NHS, and healthcare providers worldwide.